Welcome back to Random Radio. I am your host, David Bolander, and I have a, a few things to be sorry for and a few things I need to catch you guys up on. Um, so let's get started with that. Um, so you may be asking one of the things, well, uh, why do you have new cover art? Well, that is because the, my friend who, um, I totally forgot to ask if he wanted me to say his name, so I'm not going to, um, but, uh, he made me some new cover art, which is absolutely amazing, so long as it actually works. I'm sure it will, but you never know with, you know, YouTube and weird file formats and all that. But anyway, yeah, I have new cover art, and I think it looks amazing. Let me know what you think. Um, next thing, um, why have I been gone so long? Uh, in all honesty, I missed one recording, which is a month gone because of how I do things, um, or four weeks gone, and then I didn't record last week because, uh, as you might be able to kind of tell from any lisp or anything or lack of audio, <laughs> um, I developed a really bad sore, like, next to my teeth, like, this last Monday, and I'm recording this on Sunday still here and uh, I learned on Wednesday that uh, tomatoes, acids, or acidic things like citrusy things, and sugar all make sores, like mouth sores, like canker sores, worse. <laughs> I, I just thought that they would just irritate it, but nope, it apparently makes them worse and so by the time it had doubled in size then I learned that and I have been on a diet strictly away from pizza, soda, and most sugar. So yeah, and uh, and then on that day that I actually learned that, um, I also ended up developing a. I think it's a. Um, it it doesn't matter. Anyway, it it's like the tip of my tongue. It hurts really bad, and that's why I kind of have a lisp, and also why I might be stopping randomly throughout this because I really don't know if I'm going to edit it. If I do, it's going to be minimal editing and just cutting out big chunks, and if a big chunk isn't quite right, but, well, anyway, you guys don't need to know that. Um, anyway, that is the reason why I've been gone. Um, literally, I, I missed one just because I missed that first recording just because I was tired because you know, transitioning from school to work, and then, you know, all that stuff. It was kind of a pain. Um, then this last week, you know why. Um, and so I'm going to be releasing one this week, and then hopefully one next week. Hopefully. Um, I really hope it happens. Um, and depending on how well this sore does, and, uh, and how well my tongue is doing, we might have a guest speaker on here. Um, and the reason why I say that is just, it, like, it's, uh, so I haven't tried, I've been trying to, like, cut off any plans, because, go figure, I started going on walks with somebody, um, where we talk consistently, like, once a week, and we've done it twice now, and then I developed this, and I, I, I need to actually text them back and say, hey, this is why I haven't been texting you, but anyway, um, and then I got an email from an old friend, he might be coming on here. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the gist of it. <laughs> um, so let's get to the topic I kind of wanted to talk about today. It's, we're nearing four, I'm reading four minutes, so you'll probably be reading like two. But, um, anyway, so, uh, today I wanted to talk about the point. The point of everything, right? Like, why are we here? What is the entire reason we're here? I don't have an answer to that, or I don't have a clear answer to that. It's something I've actually set myself to try to achieve, at least for myself. To figure out, okay, why the heck am I here right now? Like, not not necessarily like, you know, why am I on Earth at all? I'm just thinking like, why was I put here right this second? Why am I here recording this podcast? Why am I here at all? And that is not <laughs> the the ramblings of a depressed person. No, that is a legitimate thought process of just like, like, why am I here? 
Um, and I actually had a, and that also got me leading to productivity, which I might do a little bit more of a deep dive into in another episode. But um, basically, to sum it up, um, my idea is that, well, part of it is that productivity, I think, is at least a part of, um, of that, of the point, of the reason why we are here. Um, I, 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 I am not strongly religious, and so I will not be drawing many things from that, I don't think. I don't know. As you know, I don't script any of this, so I'm kind of pulling all of this off the top of my head. Although I did have kind of an idea about it earlier, but I didn't think about this one nearly as much as I think about other ones. Um, anyway, so... So the reason, for me personally, what I have gathered is the reason why I'm here is to help individuals move along. And what I mean by that is that, I mean, all my life and I've been told, or at least for a good chunk of my life, I've been told uh, by friends' parents, by friends themselves, that I'm a good influence. <laughs> you know, I've been told that. I don't think I am, but I've been told that. Um, and so that's... I think that that might be a part of the reason why I'm here, is to help people around me, right? And this actually leads into productivity, right? Where it's like, okay, so I can either go around helping people all day long, every single day of the week, right? Uh, and not get any sleep, but then where would that put those people, right? Because then suddenly I am passing out of exhaustion in the middle of, their, in the middle of our conversation and I can't help anybody. And so my personal opinion is that I need to be at my best so I can help other people be at their best. Um, and it's, <laughs> believe me, when I started like thinking more about mental health, it was tough to find a good balance. And it still is kind of tough to find a good balance. But I mean, for me personally, uh, I find, well, I don't even know. Like I find a good balance to be enjoying life where you see it, right? Like, for example, I get an hour of lunch for work or when I'm on, when I'm on lunch for work. You, you know what I mean. Um, uh, anyway, I get an hour of lunch. It takes me like 15 to 30 minutes to grab my lunch. And so I decided, OK, I have an extra half an hour. I'm going to go on a walk down the local river. Right. And so I do, I've been doing that for a while. I've probably been getting pretty sunburnt too and I've gotten a little bit of a tan. Not much of one, but it's something. Um, anyway, and so that's that's what I mean by like enjoying your life where you see it. Like I only had half an hour. Most people would have probably just said, yeah, I'm just gonna stay at work I'm, or I'm just gonna go back to work. But for me personally, I like enjoying those little moments, right? Those little moments where it's like, I don't have anything I have to do right now. And then being able to realize, or being able to think about the fact that like, you have nowhere you have to be right now. Nobody is looking to see you right now. And so you can do whatever the heck you wanna do, whether that be going on a walk by the river, doing literally whatever you want, right? And so it's like, I, I don't know, that's what I've found. And even like, um, it's like, oh yeah, it's gonna be like 15 minutes until dinner. Okay, I'm gonna go put on my favorite song for the time being, um, and I'm gonna go try to draw a picture or something, or I'm gonna go grab my favorite book and I'm gonna read, or something like that, you know? Just enjoying the moment, because in reality, and another thing I've realized and that was brought to my attention from a YouTube video I, I watched was that, um, or it was a YouTube video reacting, or not reacting to, but like summarizing a movie. Um, and it was basically talking about how like adults tend to fill their lives with things that kids don't think is important. And I'm sure I'm, I'm thinking of tons of things that are not important to me that will be later. But I mean, adults fill their lives with stuff or their lives are filled for them, right? And so it's very difficult to find an actual time where you are ready and willing to go do something, right? And I mean, parents, I feel so bad for parents just because it's like, okay, waking up at 6 a.m., getting ready for work, leaving at 7, 
uh, going to work all day, terrible co-workers, you know, uh, don't get hardly any of a lunch because there's a role model and everything, um, and then come home, have to deal with their kids for the rest of the night, and they don't get hardly any time to themselves, and I feel so bad about that. Yeah, I, I don't know, but one thing that I was thinking of was, like, I have so much free time right now. I, I work four days a week, uh, six, six hours each day, which is pretty interesting, um, and my hours are super flexible, which means that I can, at least as per, I'm, I'm not, I'm actually not going to get into the details of that, never mind, that sounds like a bad idea, um, but anyway, uh, I just, I don't know, that was just something that I was thinking of, and so I'm trying to get the habit into me to be like, okay, I have like five minutes, instead of looking on my phone phone and scrolling through something I don't care about, how about we go look at the news and actually pay attention? How about we go grab a book and read the first page of a chapter? How about we go outside for a walk for five minutes? How about, you know, how about I start on a picture? I've been trying to will myself into doing that, although saying that, um, if you, if you know me personally, don't try to enforce this because, I mean, a lot of the time, the reason why I don't end up doing that kind of stuff is because I'm tired, <laughs> right? And I get it, everybody's tired. Uh, unfortunately, I, I don't like coffee, and coffee doesn't like me, uh, and energy, and I don't like energy drinks either, and so I don't really have a good extra source of energy, and so I'm just kind of tired for that time, and I just end up, you know, doing exactly what I said, scrolling on my phone for nothing. Partially because, I mean, at least with the work I've been doing, then I, I engage my mind with work uh, for six hours in a day. Which, you might be saying, oh, I, I, I do that for nine, ten hours. Well, good for you. That's, that's, that was probably your choice. But anyway, um, you know, I, I don't even know where I'm going with this, but as, as I usually don't. <laughs> probably because I don't know how to wrap th these things up. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to say that just to, I don't know, I don't know, finding free time. Finding free time is a very difficult thing, especially when all your hobbies take at least an hour to do, right? And then you get to them, and then something comes up right in the middle, right? And so I've been trying to, and I, I encourage other people as well to look for times where it's like, hey, I'm, I'm just sitting around for like 10 minutes, right? Would I rather be just scrolling or would I watch my favorite show would I want to read a little bit of a book it might not be much but it'll be something it's not much but it's honest work um, you know you could draw a picture you could go for a walk even around your office right maybe that's just me but it's something that I've been looking toward doing and I've been trying to slowly build the habit toward so that I can positively think oh yeah this will genuinely make me feel better like taking this half an hour of my lunch instead of just scrolling on my phone waiting for work to start again or even just going back to work getting more hours then I would rather you know go on a walk right do something that makes me feel good and that will guarantee that I feel good for that half an hour which typically ends up bleeding into the rest of my day right even if it's only 20 minutes after after that lunch I was feeling happy for 50 minutes. That's what that means. I was feeling happy for 50 minutes, genuinely. And I would argue that that is the way to find happiness in, in an adult overcrowded life. Uh, and that's, I understand that is more difficult said than done, I know, I've, I've been struggling to do it myself. <laughs> but um, I don't know, and I don't mean for this to be judgmental at all or anything, but you know, it's, it's what I do here. I just talk and talk and talk. And then I realize, oh, I've been talking for 15 minutes. Let's shut this off. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So with that, try to find free time, <laughs> you know, try to find free time where there is none. At least that's what I've been doing. And if you, if, if that sounds interesting to you, um, there's nothing I can recommend to you other than try it. Even if it's just a little thing, then it does like it doesn't have to be anything big like going on a big long walk. I mean, I turn around after five minutes of walking anyway because 
you know, I'm scared that I'm not going to make it back to work on time. At least sometimes. But, um, anyway. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, whenever you're listening to this. And, um, yeah. I, hopefully I'll have another episode back for you next week. And, um, we might have that guest speaker on. But, we'll see. And, uh, sorry if you totally lose this podcast because of this cover art change. But, um, I'll, I'll do my best. Anyway. Good night, good day, whatever. Uh, have a good time and be safe, okay? With all the everything and uh, shifting seasons. Or not really shifting seasons, but it with it being summer around here, it's getting to be fire season, you know, all that. Unless you're on the other side of the world, in which case, if I remember right, then that means that you are having winter, which don't freeze. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, have a good time and I will see you guys later.